This, this could be you. If you continue to make the common mistake so many developers make, you will regret everything. Or maybe you'll be fine. I don't know your life. The major error I made in my early days of developing video games, or really starting any new skill, follows a principle I'm going to call expecting perfection before production. The idea behind this principle is that the majority of people will try everything in their power to avoid the result of failure. So much so that oftentimes we will quit before giving any kind of meaningful attempt, letting fear immobilize us, or leaning on the endless excuses made when we aren't born with a specific talent or gifted with a certain skill set. With our current society built around productivity and efficiency, we have become petrified of the idea of making a wrong decision, progressing slower than anticipated, or God forbid, resetting our current progress. In my early days of developing games, I spent years trying to perfect my art style, learn the most efficient way to code, and figure out exactly how to market a successful indie game, all without ever actually working on a game for more than a couple weeks. The reality is that aiming for perfection, or even something good, can halt our progression and procrastinate our learning experience. I'm sure we've all heard of the phrase, practice makes perfect. It's a pretty common expression, but when you take it literally, it's quite flawed. I don't mean to burst any bubbles here, but perfection doesn't really exist. There will always be a better way to create something or a more efficient path to take to where you want to be. Life might seem like a streamlined path to the finish, but in reality, we are stuck in a web of endless choices, branching off at every new decision we do or don't make. Now, this might sound intimidating, but I think there is a lot of excitement that lies here. One of the fastest ways to learn is through understanding what not to do and experiencing things directly through experimentation. This year, I decided to try out a Kickstarter. I've tried them in the past, and, well, yeah, nothing too spectacular. However, I learned from my past mistakes. I developed a new sense of what the business world was like for the first time. I put myself out there, failed, learned from the failure, and a couple years later attempted the same feat but actually accomplished the thing I set out to do. Make money developing games and go full time as a developer. Knowing when to call it quits or try something different is important, but understanding when we need to push through the dark tunnel, well, that's how we find true success. The point I'm trying to make is just start. Don't aim for perfection, continue on your journey and see what you can learn from your experiences. With every passing moment, we are making a choice. Whether we are doing something or not, we are choosing to focus our time and energy somewhere. Stop putting off that awesome game prototype because you want to keep practicing your music theory for a better game soundtrack. Your ideas will continue to evolve as you develop your skills, so create the best product you can in the current moment and see how you can improve for the next time. Progression is not a linear path. As we develop our abilities, we start to exponentially increase our opportunities, subsiding the amount we lose and expanding the amount we win. I hope that that advice helped in some kind of way, but now we can discuss what I've been working on to do with Monster Tribe recently. Well, obviously we have to discuss the monsters. So there were some new monsters that were created throughout the live streams that we've been doing recently. So if you want to get in on those and actually give some advice that I can be using in the monster designs, then check out the live streams that we do weekly on YouTube. We had released a Kickstarter a few months ago and some of our super backers actually got access to creating content for the game, including NPCs, some statues they can help influence, and monster fusions for each of the different creatures. Last but not least, I would like to mention that the official Monster Tribe public demo is going to be going live September 30th. Originally, we weren't going to have a public demo out until the release of the game in 2022. However, we were invited to the Steam Next Fest for October 1st to the 7th. And in order to do that, we need a demo. So yeah, we made it public and it's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's a lot of what we've been doing. We've also been doing a lot of optimization and bug fixes and glitches, but I'm sure most of you guys don't care about that kind of stuff. Yeah, we added a couple other things in the past few days. So you're not done recording this video just yet. Oh, right. 
yeah, so we also worked on the water ruins area, which you can see here as a nice little concept. And I redid the battle background for the 60th time. Anyway, that is going to conclude this episode. I hope you learned something from this video, but regardless, good luck, and I hope you find success in the near future.